How you doing? This is Coach DiCarlo. I'm not sure how the visual, I'm outside, so uh, hopefully this comes out okay. But listen, what I want to talk about is a miracle moment. What is a miracle moment? Jesus says that you have what you say. And so there was a woman that had 12 years of an issue of blood. And when she touched the garment of Jesus, she knew immediately that the issue of blood had dried up and that she was healed. But more than that, Jesus said, who touched me? Now, why did he say who touched me? Because the virtue of Jesus, he realized that something had gone out of him. Because he realized that something had gone out of him, he knew that it was done. Now, why am I saying this to you? The miracle moment is that moment that you know, that you know, that you know, that whatever it is that you desire at the moment is done. You don't sit there and vacillate. You don't sit there and wonder if it's done. You don't reach out to 10 people to ask if it's been done. You know in your heart of hearts, so you begin operating from that. Recently, I was uh, dealing with something, and when I knew that it was resolved, there was just something in my spirit that said it was done. Neville calls this the equivalent of a spiritual orgasm. And basically what happens is when an orgasm takes place, you don't need to have, per se, another orgasm. Or, And I know that for some of you, forgive me, that may be sound uh, vile, but I want you to understand how this works. Or the moment of impregnation. When the moment of impregnation takes place, when you know that you have what it is that you say, you don't have to keep trying to get pregnant. And likewise with you creators, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, when you know that you know that you have what it is that you desire, you don't sit there and have to wonder if it's taking place. You begin operating from the end of that desire, knowing that it has been manifested. And the only thing that needs to happen at that moment is that reality needs to catch up with you and what it is that you know. So it's just a matter of you living from the end at that moment, knowing that what it is that you desire is in fact your reality. So how do you know that you've experienced a miracle moment? You know that you've experienced a miracle moment when all doubt has gone, when there's no need to ask, when you walk in knowing, for example, when you know that you need to pick some items up for the store, I like using the store scenario, so I'll use that. And when you go to the store and you pick up that item, even before you pick up that item, you know that the item's there. So it's just a matter of picking that item up. Like I said in one of my posts recently is that we're always manifesting. Now, the thing is, is what form that manifestation comes into. So when you experience a miracle moment, you already know that the thing that you desire is already a reality. So you begin living from that reality. And just because it hasn't manifested itself in what we call reality, it doesn't shake you because you know no matter how long it takes. For example, you say that one day I want to be a millionaire. You begin operating from a millionaire mindset. You say that I want to be in a loving relationship. You begin operating, walking, living out that loving relationship. You say I want to experience better health. You begin living out better health at that moment. And there's no if, ands, or buts, or supposes. You know that you have what you say. Again, this is called the miracle moment when you know that the thing that you seek is already a reality and you just live from the end from that point on. This is Coastal Carlos saying have a great and abundant day.